Salutations and good morrow, everyone, and welcome back to Grounded, where today we are going to be taking a look at all of the audio logs that have been added to the game so far, and some that have not yet been heard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through all of my audio logs that I have. So you have the personal logs 1 through 4, then you have the ornament logs 1 through 3, and then you have burgle logs 1, 2, and 3. So in this video, we're going to go over all of them, and then when we're done, we're going to talk about each of them and figure out how the stories have progressed so far and what's going to be getting added in the future and where I think where the story is going to go. So if you guys want to see all that, make sure you guys like the video and subscribe for more awesome grounded videos because they're always coming. So let's start with personal log number one by Dr. Wendell. Ominent practical technologies, Dr. Wendell Tully, science... Mm. Ominent practical technologies, Dr. Wendell Tully, household liquids, gels, and aerosols division. That is where my PhD is going now. Kaminsky works here, and he's an idiot. With the pay cut, I've been reduced to substituting at the local school. How many times can one person be expected to explain the difference between a vector and a scalar? If it has direction, then it's a scalar. I mean, a vector. Oh! I swear the ignorance around me is contagious. Does that normal teacher do anything? No wonder my inventions cannot be appreciated. Our society no longer understands science. Okay, guys, so that was the first one. We're going to hop in. We're going to listen to personal log number two. I've thought about this in circles for days now, and I've come to a decision. It's time to restart spacer development. Almanet may not believe in it, but I know its potential. Though I must figure out how to return shrunk objects to their original size. The first step will be to address the particle transcription errors. It seems almost certain that the irregularities are responsible for the failure during the demonstration. Burgle, please bring up all the lab data about the unknown particles. Happy to be of service. Notes will be prepared and delivered to your table in four hours or less. Four hours? What are the chances for less? Delivery estimate will be prepared in two hours or less. An auspicious beginning. Okay, so that was audio log number two, personal log number two. Now we're going to go on to personal log number three. I have isolated the source of the particle irregularities. They appear to be a byproduct of the shrinking process. If I adjust the machine to account for their existence, it should be the key to the de-shrinking, uh, expanding process. Burgle, please bring up the readings for the irregular covalent SNPI 42Z particle traces. Ugh, that name is going to get tiresome. And while you're at it, rename all references to the irregular covalent SNPI 42Z particle to raw science. Order received. Raw science identified. Does it require cooking, flipping, or g -g -g grilling? No, 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 none of those. Categorization. That answer is not permitted, according to health code standards governing the handling of raw food items. Okay. So that was personal log number three. As you guys can tell, Dr. Wendell is starting to get closer and closer and closer um, to his actual um, goal of creating the shrink ray and getting people back to larger again. So we're going to listen to audio log number four right now, which is this one right here, personal log number four. I require additional equipment and supplies to complete the XB expanding platform prototype. Luckily, I happen to know exactly where such things can be obtained. Unfortunately, it seems unlikely that Armanent will agree to any requisitions, thus I am forced to... Uh, borrow what I require. Virgil, climb into the shrinking chamber. Once you have been miniaturized, I will communicate with you via Scabby and guide you through disabling the ominous security apparatus. Understood. Wait, what am I doing? I can't have any records of this burgled purge recording. But Ruby's corporate legal standards require that all official communication records are retained for all time throughout the... Do it. <laughs> 
it do it okay so that is all of the personal logs so as you guys can tell dr wendell was getting very close to being able to develop his technology and get everything working so that way he could come through and build his actual technology and get us to the size we are now also in case you guys have noticed i'm just sitting here building something in the background while this is going keeping you guys entertained i will continue building on while we're moving on to the next um logs which are the ominent logs Prominent Practical Technologies, Dr. Wendell Tully, Science Division, Log 87.08.31c. Today's gluon trials were a complete failure. Apparatus destroyed, no useful test data, perhaps Dr. Klein was right. Another year's research down the train, I had felt so sure of it. For my sake, I need success. But nothing is working. Not the gluon, nor the scabby. Not even the confounded napkin bags. But what if I revisited an older project? Hmm. Hmm. No. Oh, no, 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 definitely not. Perhaps? No. <gasps> Wait. That's it. The shrink machine. Initial explorations had been promising before Hubert put the kibosh on it. I could set it up in the basement. If I showed that it worked, surely they could not argue with results. It's worth a try. What do I have to lose? Okay, so there you guys can see that he is talking about trying to go in and start up the project again so obviously these logs are not going to be in complete order compared to you see the personal logs and then these ones so this was right as he just had gotten done um with failing at another experiment and now he wanted to try something new and he wanted to go back and revisit his other technologies that he already started so let's move on to ominent log number two Dominant Practical Technologies, Dr. Wendell Tully, Science Division, Log 87.12.18, uh, 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 87.12.19. It's past midnight now, but the covalent space reducer prototype is complete. Otherwise known as the shrinking machine, I've dubbed it the spacer. I should get some rest, but the kids are already asleep, Trudy's given up and gone to bed, and I'm eager to find out if all these months of work were worth it. Everything should be sound, but you never know until you flip the switch. Well, here goes nothing. <laughs> Explosions, terrible, disastrous results. Supplemental log, complete failure. Oh, why do I even try? I'll clean this mess up in the morning. So it appears that the doctor failed at what he was trying to do when he first started. So let's go on to ominent log number three. And we will see what he had come up with now. Supplemental log, ominent practical technologies, totally. Oh, whatever, I'll sort it later. The important thing is I have done it! Success! The spacer has worked its magic! I have successfully shrunk a set of basic plastic polyhedral dice from the size of standard dice to no bigger than the size of... Well, much smaller dice. Uh, Burgle, make a note to come up with a better comparison. Noting! He did it! Nonetheless, this is a complete exoneration! However... It occurs to me that I have a new problem. The dice were intended to be young Thor's Christmas present. He will be disappointed. But perhaps I can convince him that they were miniature dice. The tiny instructions might be a bit of a giveaway. A new solution may be required. To the fun pit toy mart before they close. Okay, so now we are at the point where Dr. Wendell has figured out how to use the shrinking machine. Right, and he mentioned somebody there. He mentioned somebody named Young Thor. Now, nobody that we have played so far, their name has been Thor. 
Okay, which leads me to believe there may be somebody named Thor around here somewhere that got caught up into this. Or maybe it's just somebody that they had to mention. Maybe they just like the character Thor. Maybe they just like Marvel. But they mentioned the name Thor. So that could be our fifth person that was shrunk down with us. We're not sure yet. We'll have to keep looking. Let's hop into those Burgle logs now and see what else Burgle has while I finish up this base that I'm working on now. Burgle transcription unit 87.9.5. Order number one. Robot, I need you to monitor these power fluctuations and inform me if they exceed acceptable limits. Hello, my name is Burgle, and I will be serving you today. I specialize in cooking, flipping, and g -g grilling. Grilling? A feature useful only to your obsolete burger flipping brethren now consigned to the scrap heap? I need you to monitor these readings, Burgle. And isn't it redundant to specialize in cooking and grilling? Understood. Appending monitor power fluctuations to my prime directive list. Deprioritizing grilling. Good. Now get on with it. Reprioritizing grilling. <laughs> so Bur that was the first time he actually got Burgle up and running. So it's good to see that he's got his little robot buddy that we've already met. Let's get this next Burgle 2 going on and we'll see what happens. Burgle transcription unit 87.10.25. Order number 73. I find it a wonder that the Burgle Mark 4s never caught on. I, I believe them to be far superior to the Mark 3s. Those never lived up to my expectations. How's that? They can only calculate post-cooking burger weights to the nearest tenth of a pound. And they only had enough memory for one seasoning module, salt or pepper. All solved with you, Mark Force, not to mention your most excellent mustaches. Thank you. I will never forget this moment. Oh, Burgle found himself a friend. That's wonderful. All right, we're moving on to the final part of our data for today before we talk more about what may be coming. Hello, and welcome to Roby's Classic Automated Burger Shop. My name is Burgle, and I will be taking your order today. Perhaps I can interest you in the daily specials? My favorite is the Roby's 0.375 pounder with cheese with a side of mammal-style fries. That will do just fine, Burgle. Remember the Roby B -B Burger motto. Make every day exponentially great. So that is the end of the Burgle logs. Now, what I will say is right there you notice at the end that it sounded like that's where when a Dr. Wendell first met Burgle because Burgle wasn't actually doing anything for him at that point. It was just a log that Burgle was happened to be there talking him. Now guys, I have finished my little hut thing that I was going to make here and there's it's nothing special to it. It's just a basic old uh, little house. But let's talk about what we believe is going to happen in the story soon. There are secret notes that I have not gone over, which I will go over in another video. But the secret notes lead you to believe that Dr. Wendell's being watched by somebody, which I believe that somebody's from Ominent or maybe a competing company. Okay, I think that what's going to end up happening is we're going to hear more and more about what happened after the shrinking technology worked and when Dr. Wendell decided to shrink himself down for the first time, if he ever did shrink himself down. Okay, maybe I know for a fact that the watcher's there because the watcher actually has a place over in the haze lab and they have talked about in the other notes too that dr wendell is shorter okay but he shrunk himself down but i will say that maybe he made himself larger again because there is the technology over at the mysterious machine over there that is supposed to make things bigger the expander as he calls it but that is all just speculation because we do not have any more information on the story at the moment. So it's interesting to see that we have five characters that got spawned in, but only four playable characters. If you guys want to know more about the fifth playable character, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel when I put out the video that has to talk a little bit more about that fifth playable character because I have found something deep within the code that I can talk to you guys about. But guys, that is all the time I have left for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please hit that like button. Let me know you guys want to see more grounded videos. And I will keep on making them as long as you guys want me to. Okay? And also make sure you guys hit that like button. And as always, I will see all of you guys in the next one.